when we look at many economic projections being made some projections say that india will grow at 8 or 10% and therefore reach 30 trillion or 50 trillion dollars of gdp but uh, when you look at the past data you will find that 8% growth is not very easy all the green highlights is the years where india has grown at more than 8% you can see that in the 80s there was one year in 90s again there was one year and then in 1991 to 2000 again one single year. In this era, we had very good years where we had 7.9, very close to 8% growth. So this was a phase where the whole world was growing at a very fast pace. We also grew at a very fast pace, but we grew above 8 only once. And similarly, in this phase, we had two eras where we grew above 8%. Our ability to grow at 8% is significantly lower than the current narrative that you hear. We haven't done that in the past at a very fast pace or a very steady pace. Second thing is that as the GDP size becomes bigger, for example, growing at close to 8% in 04 to 07 or 08 phase, our GDP was a trillion or lower. Right now, we are getting closer to $4 trillion GDP. Somewhere in 2025, we'll probably reach that number. So it will be much harder to add 8% growth on top of, let's say, 8% plus inflation on top of a $4 trillion GDP number. So real GDP growth of 8% is going to be a large challenge, even if we grow at 6%. So what is our growth rate from 1991, which is the year where we introduced a lot of reforms in India until today, it is 6% CAGR. Exactly. 6.04% to be precise is our long-term growth rate from 1991 to today. And it's an excellent number. It's a very good number to have. Uh, very few countries are able to grow at this pace. Even if we do 6%, I think it will be an excellent outcome if we are able to maintain it. It will cause a widespread growth across all sectors. But if we repeat it, let's assume that then 6% real growth, let's say 4%, which is RBS inflation target, 10% nominal growth. Corporate earnings will also grow between 9 to 10%, which is the historical norm when you look at the GDP, because exporters are roughly not growing as fast as India's growth. Therefore, blended growth will be at this number. In the years where we grow at 8%, you can see markets rejoice and do extremely well. But those are very rare years, as you can see from history. And therefore, we need to realign and rethink about our growth numbers. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.